Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent and today we're coming at you with another quick tip video and we're going to be working on my 2018 Ram that has a 6.7 Cummins in it. And what we're going to be doing today is an oil change on it. I don't necessarily want to make a full step-by-step -step video on how to change your oil, but I am going to hit some highlights of stuff that I think will help you get through the process. And the main reason I want to make this video is because of this tool that I found. This is a Motivex Tools MX 2342 oil filter cap. And we'll get more into that, but this is going to keep you from making a mess. This is a game changer when servicing your Cummins. It's everybody should have one of these that has one of these trucks that's going to service it. Every dealership should have it. The reason I have this tool is to prevent making a mess when you pull your oil filter out because the first time my brand new Ram went in for a dealer service, it came back, sat in the garage that night, and leaked oil on the floor because when they pulled my oil filter out, they filled my frame rail up with oil because I had to tip the filter to get it out of there. Well, this helps you cap that off and prevents you from making the mess. We'll get to that in a minute, but all you're gonna need for this service you're going to need to look in your owner's manual. My truck calls for a CJ4 1540 oil above zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you're going to be operating below that, my truck calls for a 540. My truck also calls for the CJ4 diesel, uh, the CJ4 API diesel oil specification, which you can see by the AP. API oil donut on the back. This is CJ4 and CK4. I think the newer Cummins call for the CK4. This oil meets the requirements of both. I'm gonna be using Valvoline Premium Blue 1540. Use whatever you want, but look in your manual and make sure you're meeting your manufacturer's recommendations so you don't mess up your warranty. Gonna be using a Mopar filter. I like to stay with the manufacturer grade filters also just to satisfy the warranty. You'll need a clean funnel and a 3 8 drive ratchet. That's all you need to service your Cummins. All you need to pull the drain plug on this is just this 3 8 head. I've already pulled it out, so. No socket or nothing. Just take your 3 8 drive. I'll show you a little picture of what the bottom of the oil pan looks like here. Like I said, I don't want to do a step-by-step -step video, but I do want to show you step-by-step -step how this tool works. And I'm going to link this tool in the description of this video. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. So if you purchase it through the link, I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you, and I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, Motivex Tools, not a sponsored video, but this is a great product. And here's a quick demonstration on how this tool works. So I believe on the 13 and newer Rams, you have to remove the oil filter from the wheel well. Right here. And what you have to do is you have to unscrew it, drop it down, and then pull it out. Well, what happens is you drain your whole oil filter down in your skid plate, your frame rail, and it gets everywhere and it's super hard to clean up. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna drop it down, cap it, and then you can use the handle on it and pull it straight out and not spill anything. And I'm telling you, I wish I would have thought of this. That's such a great idea. And I think it will be super useful on lots of vehicles if you can find it the right thread size, but especially this one. And then the same thing going back together, you can actually fill your oil filter all the way up with oil cap it again so you're going to have a full oil filter like the way you're supposed to do it but you couldn't do it if you didn't have this cap stick it in there take your cap off and install it and that's going to prevent you from having that dry startup you will be starting on a full oil filter that's the way it needs to be done but it's not always possible this tool game changer you definitely need one if you have one so let's get into the actual oil change. And like I said, I already drained the oil on this and something to keep in mind when you drain your oil, whether it be on a Cummins or whatever you're changing the oil on, 
The perfect time to drain that oil is when it's warm and been running. Reason being, if a vehicle's been sitting for a long time, all your debris and wear metals that are in that oil that are heavy go to the bottom of that oil pan and they'll lay there. And when you pull that plug, you may not get them all out of there. So we wanna circulate that oil and get the engine running and try to get all of that bad stuff suspended in the oil, shut the engine off obviously, then pull the plug. And hopefully all of those bad particles are gonna come out the drain plug with the oil. Now, something to keep in mind, that oil is gonna be hot because we just ran it. So you wanna have a good pair of gloves on. You wanna be ready to get out of the way once you get it, the plug out. But that's, just, that's another quick tip. That's the best time. It's not always possible, especially if you're broke down or something. But ideally, you wanna change your oil on a warm engine. But for now, let's get this filter changed and I will show you the Motive Tools oil filter cap in action. So this is going to be a little bit hard to film, but that gray right there, that is the old oil filter. We are on the passenger side wheel well. I'm going to drop it down and then cap it with my Motive Tools cap. I'm going to drop it straight down and go in with our cap. And pull it right out of there. And as you can see, we didn't spill a single drop. That filter is still completely full. We've got it capped off. Now we can go take that and put it in our used oil drain and we will come back with the new filter. We've got our new filter. We're going to get it filled all the way up. Take a little dab of that oil and put it on your seal. And get your plug cleaned up. Cap your new filter. And we should be able to fish it in there just like that one came out. Set it down in there so I can take my cap off. And we're going to get it just as tight as we can get it with our hands. I don't like to use wrenches on them because I, they just don't need to be that tight. So just as tight as you can get, hand tight. And just like that, our new oil filter's installed and we didn't spill a single drop. That is much better than the dealer service I got on this truck because they spilled a whole lot. They definitely needed one of these tools. Let me finish up here. I need to get the drain plug in it, get some oil in it, and then we'll wrap this video up. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Just a super simple oil change video on my 6.7 Cummins. And most of you probably already know how to do it. But the main reason I wanted to make the video was to show you guys about the new tool that I found. Because I think it could help a lot of you from making messes in your garage or shop. Or just keeping the underneath of your vehicle clean. That oil in the frame is almost impossible to get out. It's a great tool. I wanted to share it with you. And that's going to pretty much wrap it up. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you have a recommendation for something else you'd like to see me do to my pickup on our quick tip videos, please let me know in the comments below. Maybe consider giving this video a like and tell your friends about us. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And I will catch you on the next video.